What's poppin' bikes? Now that's the last time you hear that from me. Today we interviewed the Stuco candidates and found out some new information about the speed limit in the parking lot. I'm Ryan. And I'm Kara. You're watching SBTV. Join FCA in the library after school today for some hot cocoa and treats while movie is playing. All that for only $3. Starting January 7th, the lunch lines will start to serve a second chance breakfast for students. See SchoolG for more details. The Fine Arts Booster Club is offering a $100 gift card to the winning banner design. The entry deadline is December 21st. This holiday season, share the joy of Christmas, Christmas by bringing a toy. All donations should be brought to the studio for the KSNT Toys for Tots Drive. Attention, Vikes! The speed limit in the parking lot is 10 miles per hour. Please obey the speed limit. Here's some information on why it's so important. The average walking speed of a human is 3 miles per hour, 6 miles per hour for jogging, and 10 miles per hour for sprinting. The parking lot speed is only 10 miles per hour. Administration has noticed that students have been driving at unsafe speeds through the school parking lot. Speed limit at uh, Seaman High School in the parking lots is 10 miles per hour. Uh, it is posted um, and it is very important that uh, you drive the speed limit due to uh, the heavy traffic before and after school. A lot of foot traffic um, at 10 miles per hour gives you more of a time to actually react if something were happening in front of you, somebody to walk in front of you, maybe a car backs out in front of you. So please uh, be aware of your speed. I have noticed there is a lot of people that are um, going above 10 miles per hour. So uh, for safety of everybody, please uh, drive 10 miles per hour. So remember to keep everyone safe, you want to drive 10 miles per hour, which is the average speed of a human sprinting. Make sure you obey the speed limit in the parking lot. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. What is this place? It's the North Pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Why are you smiling like that? Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. Okay. It's time for the announcement. Okay, guys. Santa's coming at 10 a.m. Santa? Santa? Oh my gosh! Donate toys for KSNT Toys for Tots and bring them to the studio by Tuesday, December 18th. Honey, where's my SBTV? Cyberbullying is a very real thing. Affecting over half of young adults online, it is generally done by bullies called trolls. These trolls will invade your privacy and ruin your social media experience. Here are some ways to prevent that. Set your privacy settings on all accounts. Only accept friends. Trolls are not your friends. Don't release any personal information. Block suspicious accounts. And tell a trusted adult. Use these tips to help keep you safe on social media. Don't get trolled, stay safe online, and stop cyber bullies. Seaman took down Shawnee Heights in both the boys and girls game last Friday. This Friday they look to continue the good feelings as they take on Topeka West on the road. Yesterday's high was 57 degrees. We now send it over to Weatherman Josh to see if this warm weather continues into the Christmas break. Good afternoon to you after a balmy weekend. It was a cold start to finals week, but we're looking at another nice day for this afternoon. 56 degrees for the high with mainly sunny skies and mild conditions once again, but notice temperatures really start to take a tumble as we head towards sunset, which now is after 5 p.m. 
once again. And through the next few days, mild weather looks to continue with highs in the 50s all the way through Wednesday. Here I have plotted the average high in blue, our forecast high in green, and the record high in yellow. We're pretty much right in the middle of those two. So yes, this unseasonably warm weather continuing through the first half of the week. We do introduce a rain chance though heading toward Wednesday. It is a pretty slight chance, but across the eastern portion of the state there could be some scattered showers, very light rain coming up on Wednesday. And now for your SVTV 7 day forecast, you can see that we do look to cool down once we get past Wednesday. Thursday looking windy and then to end the week, cooler temperatures but still above average with highs in the low to mid 40s. Now, Ryan and Kara, back to you. Hey Ryan, do you know who the Stuco candidates are? No, I don't, but let's learn more about them. Josh, the weatherman here. If you want high pressure and control of our school with a chance for even more snow days, I believe I'm the right candidate for you. Let's improve our leadership in this school with even better weather. I'm Josh, the weatherman, and I'm predicting a victory. Hi, my name is Celine, and I am running for secretary in Stuco. I think I'd be a really good option because I'm really determined and throughout these past year I really love what Stuco does and I'd like to be a part of it. Hello, my name is Braden Harden and I'm running for the treasurer at Stuco and I think I would be a great candidate because I am very good in the mathematics department and that's the treasurer is what handles all the money and stuff so I feel like I would be great for that and I feel like I'm very respected by students and teachers and I would bring a lot of great ideas to Stuco's next year. My name is Alyssa Flower and I'm running for president of student council and I think I'll be a good Stuco president because I've invested a lot of time in Stuco in the past three years having over 50 service hours just in Stuco and I am also involved in a lot of other activities including cheerleading, Clipper and yearbook so I hear a lot of outside opinions which I feel would really be beneficial because student council is a representation of the student body and so having those other opinions would really be beneficial for creating new ideas and planning events for the community and the school. Hi my name is Riley Poulter. I'm running for student council president and I think I'd make an excellent president because I'm determined to make this school and a community a place that we want to remember. I look forward to serving you next year as a leader in the student council trying to make everyone feel welcomed and we wish the Stuco candidates the best of luck. Good luck this week with finals. If you're stressed, make sure to come out to the library this afternoon. Have a great day.